Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini Mighty Grand Mate. Here today for part 77 ahead of the Mexican Grand Prix where we had an absolute classic last season. Will this season be the same? This is the grid though ahead of the Grand Prix. We are on pole alongside Jack Dewan who's been doing mega since he stood in for Lewis Hamilton. Then it's Piastri and Max Verstappen, Joe and Charles Leclerc, Bottas and George Russell, Albon and Norris round out the top 10 then it's Lawson and Pierre Gasly, Pacher and Lance Stroll, Helga and Esteban Ocon, Sonoda and Enzo Fittipaldi, Sainz and Logan Sargent, it's 2x2 two two. and on the final row of the grid is the two horses headed by Kevin Magnussen. So we're here on the grid then ahead of the Grand Prix, we'll put it on pole once again looking for a much better weekend than last time out in the States at Cota. This is a qualifying lap then that took us to pole position. We were actually down in the third sector, but a middle, middle sector and final sector got us on pole position. We're going to be doing the usual one-stop strategy, starting on the softs, going to the mediums, that medium to hard, not very tempting. We want the soft tyres. Here we go though, it's the five red lights for the Mexican Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go we're quite sluggish off the start but so is Jack Dewan. He's been jumped by the McLaren of Oscar Piastri as everyone floods down. Dewan though using the toe off of us to get back alongside of the McLaren. Tries to go around the outside there's nearly front wing to tyre contact there but most importantly we lead coming out of the first chicane. The two Red Bulls are side by side. Piastri is too far back there as we come through. The middle sector, Piastri is stuck to the back of us like glue. And now he's going to go to the outside, to the inside of us, into the stadium section. He backs out though, we run a bit wide, we get him on the exit. We keep the Australian driver behind, Jack Dewan now all over the back as well. And now we come out of the final corner, we've had a massive, massive snap of oversteer. And that's allowed Piastri to get up the inside of us. But Jack Dewan's got a mega exit, but he's been boxed in from both of us there. Piastri has the straight line speed to get us there. Jack Dewan's going to make it very wide going into turn one. Dewan on the inside, we're somewhere on the outside. We've had to go over the curve, try and avoid contact. We've made contact with the back of the McLaren. Jack Dewan is on the inside, we've lost out to Piastri. We're going to the outside of Piastri. We're going to use the the battery to get alongside, try and keep it pinned around the outside. Piastri is now on the outside. Somehow, in the carnage of that, we keep the lead. Doing stays P3. He started to drop back. Maybe he had damage, but here comes Piastri once again on the inside of us. This time, he looks to be a bit further ahead, but we're going to keep it pinned around the outside of turn one, keeping behind. And hopefully we can relax for a couple of corners, but Piastri is still on us now. He's to the inside of us, into turn four. We're trying to hold it round the outside, but Piastri has us covered. We try and go back round the outside at the next corner, do the switch back. We were all over the back of him, but Piastri has put us to bed and got past us now. And it's going to be hard to re-overtake the McLaren, I think. That McLaren looks very, very quick. And that's exactly what happened. Lap 6 now, Piastri got away and we fell back into the clutches of Jack Dewan. He's on the outside, he has got us as well. We're going to go back to the inside of him though. And that's allowed Max Verstappen to have a go around the outside. Verstappen gets the job done on Jack Dewan. Jack Dewan though has the exit, nearly gets back ahead. Albon in the background is looking for a way through. So is Valtteri Bottas doing on the inside. Max round the outside. They're side by side. Doing keeps the Red Bull behind. Soaks up the pressure. And he's also back on us now as we head on lap 8. Down the pit straight. He's past us now. We're going to use his slipstream to get back at him. But look at Verstappen. He's thinking about it around the outside. He's nearly made contact. He has made contact with us as we go very deep into the first corner, Doohan has taken P2, now it's all about the exit of turn 3, 
as we head down towards turn four. We're all over the back of Dewan. We're alongside Dewan. We're going to try and go to the outside. Dewan has us covered. We keep it pinned round the outside. Now off the inside line. Now it's a traction race off the turn five into turn six. Dewan on the outside. We're on the inside. B. Ashley has bolted. And Jack Dewan has got us eventually. We put up a brave fight as this is Albon going at Valtteri Bottas in the Red Bull. Has he got the job done? Yes, he has. Great move by Albon. We're coming under pressure now from Max Verstappen. He's got past us now. Dewan started to pull away. We haven't really got the race pace here today. Max has got the job done on us though. As now we're going to try get a good exit off of turn three. And it does look like we've got that. We roll over the back of the Red Bull. I'm going to go inside, outside. It's going to have to be a lunge. And it is a lunge. Down the inside. We bring over Tate Max to stop him. And Alex Albon sees the chance. Oh, it's a great bit of team play. We've got Albon past Max Verstappen as well, along with us, keeping him behind. But I decided this point in the Grand Prix, Albon seemed to have a lot more pace than us. And we were just holding him up. And I think we can fend off Max a lot better than the AI of Albon can. So we're going to let Albon through. We might have had that lifted. And we're just going to use Albon to, to tug us along. Use him as a rope and try and keep the staff at bay and maybe he can take take us back to the back of Jack Dewan can Albon and it it was working you can see here lap 12 it was working now Jack Dewan from P2 end of lap 12 it seems like a very early stop he's boxing and he's gone on to another set of the soft tyres Mercedes have committed Dewan to a two stop and he was on for a podium, potentially. But we'll see what happens as the race goes on. We're now being challenged by Max Verstappen. We were trying not to overtake Alex. But the DRS is quite powerful around here. But if we need to get overtaken by Verstappen. And Verstappen's coming under pressure now from Bottas. Does Bottas get his teammate? He has. They're both side by side. But Bottas is through. The end of lap 15 now, Albon continues on, so does Bottas, but we are in, along with Max Verstappen, in the background, so is the Ferrari of Leclerc as well. If we trundle down the very long pit lane here, we are right at the end. It's on to the mediums for our one and only stop of the day, it's interesting to see what Mercedes are going to do as well. But as we come out of the pits, we're going to find ourselves in a nice bit of clean air. There's a house just up the road of De Vries, who's just gone for our picture. And we're going to have to do that overtake very quickly. It's coming out of the stadium section, whatever you want to call that. We're on the inside, we passed the house. There's no point in fighting us. And we're through, and hopefully he can hold up the Red Bull of Verstappen and the Ferrari of Leclerc, as this is... Albon a lap later then coming in and out of the pits and where does he come out relative to us we've jumped him we've jumped Albon after we were letting him tug us along we've jumped him we've undercut him and I don't think he's going to be very happy with that as the Haas is overtaken of the freeze by Verstappen and Leclerc Leclerc fancying his chances getting past Verstappen as well but we've pulled quite the gap on Verstappen and Albon. Albon was putting in a shift in the early stages. As this is us now on the back of Logan Sargent. These drivers I think are on the mediums. So they're going longer. And we're past the Williams. The Williams not been at it this season. So lap 18. Now this is Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen is slowing down. As this is Albon overtaking Logan Sargent. To get on the back of us. He has actually caught us up a little bit. The gap around two and a half seconds but this happened after piling pressure on us in the early stages now find yourself out of the Grand Prix that's helped us in terms of the championship but now that is two DNS in the last three races for the Dutchman and now this stage of the race lap 22 we couldn't catch 
do and we were slowly catching him though you can see as he boxes for his second stop of the day we got the gap down by three seconds it was staying around seven we got it down to four and doing now after being certain for a nailed on podium at least now comes out just in front of his teammate in p11 that both mercedes out of the points as they go wheel to wheel into turn one and george russell gets ahead of his teammate and with us p now p2 and p3 this could be a great overhaul in the constructors as this is dennis Halger pulling off to retire it's another red bull engine honda engine that has popped in this race that's two now the snapping and Halger as our race was really lonely we couldn't catch the Ashley. we weren't being caught by Albon as onto the final lap you can see there we had a bit of a moment and on the final lap we had a DRS issue we weren't caught though by Albon a bit we've actually just lapped the car but Albon you can see there is about four and a half seconds behind but Oscar Piastri around 10 seconds up the road from us seven seconds is going to round the final corner to win the Mexico Grand Prix we are going to come home for a very good P2 and Albon is going to get the final place on the podium it was a tough race at times but they've held on to take a great victory for McLaren today Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations, and it's going to be McLaren picking up the winner's trophy. Congratulations to the entire team for that fantastic performance. So that's been your Mexico Grand Prix. It's won by Oscar Piastri. Where was this Piastri last season? Because he wasn't driving my car. Great win for Piastri. Great result for us, P2 and P3. That's very good in the Constructors' Championship as well. We'll get onto that in a second. Mercedes bottling a chance of the podium today with Dylan with that two-stroke strategy. Not the way to go. He only gets up into P7. So he's still not far off the podium, but not on it. Down at the back two retirements then max verstappen he was doing very well in the early stint we played some clever strategy to keep him behind because he was quite quick and then dennis Hauger was in a bit of a train towards the back of the field also retirement and kevin magnuson was the only car to be lapped so the final finisher on the lead lap then was nick de Vries. so this is the drivers world championship now we now have a 64 point lead going into the next race in brazil which does mean we have a chance of becoming a four-time world champion finally someone has jumped lewis hamilton since he hasn't been in it since the dutch grand prix oscar piastri moves up into p2 with that win he's jumped max verstappen 64 points though the gap verstappen and George find themselves level on points with a couple of races to go and Albon absolutely flying up the order after he hadn't scored with Williams now P9 in the Drivers World Championship and Jack Doohan also slowly getting his way up in P11 down at the back though it's the same two drivers we've been saying for a very long time in this career mode that are still yet to score that being Logan Sargent and Kevin Magnussen then 
So in terms of the constructors then, we have taken a massive bite out of Mercedes with that T3. 22 points now the gap. This has been a great back and forth fight between, between us and Mercedes. We've gone toe to toe pretty much every season with the German team, but we haven't come out on top. And I believe this is the season where we can do it. 22 points, still three races to go. I think we can do it. Plus there's a sprint in there as well. And Williams, still your only team who still haven't scored. So that's been your Mexico Grand Prix then. Although it wasn't as good as the one we had here last season. The absolute classic. It's done wonders for the Drivers World Championship and Constructors World Championship. As long as we have a boring race and we come off with the best result possible. I'll take that any day. Puts us in a great position to be World Champions. Four time World Champions in the next race in in Brazil with F124 literally not that far away at time of recording. I want to finish off this career mode but I'm not going to be able to do that as individual videos. So the next episode of this career mode is going to be the final episode of the career mode. We're going to be doing the remainder of the season. It's going to be one long video and I'll see you then. Goodbye.